In this video we share Pope Francis on war, Ukraine and the white flag. Please like, comment and subscribe to assist my channel to reach a larger audience. Thank you. Pope Francis spoke this week on the war in Ukraine and said, do not be ashamed to negotiate. The director of the Holy See press office, Matteo Bruni, responds to journalists regarding Pope Francis' statements in an interview with a Swiss TV station, saying the Pope picked up the image of the white flag, proposed by the interviewer, to indicate a cessation of hostilities, a truce reached with the courage of negotiation. His hope is for a diplomatic solution for a just and lasting peace. With his words on Ukraine, Pope Francis intended to call for a ceasefire and to relaunch the courage of negotiation. Matteo Bruni, the director of the Holy See Press Office, explained that the Pope's desire for Ukraine, which he always describes as martyred, was fully expressed in his words at the Angelus on February 25, the day after second anniversary of the outbreak of the war. On that occasion, the Pope reaffirmed his deep affection for the Ukrainian people. He also invited all parties to create the conditions for a diplomatic solution in search of a just and lasting peace. The Pope, specified Mr. Bruni, uses the term white flag, and responds by picking up the image proposed by the interviewer, to indicate a cessation of hostilities, a truce reached with the courage of negotiation. Elsewhere in the interview, speaking of another situation of conflict, but referring to every situation of war, the Pope clearly stated, negotiations are never a surrender. In the interview, the interviewer Lorenzo Bacella asks the Pope, in Ukraine, some call for the courage of surrender, of the white flag. But others say that this would legitimize the stronger party. What do you think? Pope Francis replied, that is one interpretation. But I believe that the stronger one is the one who sees the situation, who thinks of the people, who has the courage of the white flag, to negotiate. And today, negotiations are possible with the help of international powers. The word negotiate, is a courageous word. When you see that you are defeated, that things are not going well, it is necessary to have the courage to negotiate. You may feel ashamed, but with how many deaths will it end? Negotiate in time, look for some country that can mediate. Today, for example in the war in Ukraine, there are many who want to mediate. Turkey has offered itself for this. And others. Do not be ashamed to negotiate before things get worse. Thus, the Pope's words, taken from an image proposed by the interviewer, reiterate, among other things, what has already been stated in these two years of continuous appeals and public statements, namely the importance of dialogue against the madness of war and the primary concern for the fate of the civilian population. The Pope's hope, reaffirmed Mr. Bruni, is and remains that which he has always repeated in these years, and reiterated recently on the occasion of the second anniversary of the conflict, as I renew my very deep affection for the martyred Ukrainian people and pray for all, especially for the many innocent victims, I implore that a little bit of humanity can be found that allows the creation of the conditions for a diplomatic solution in search of a just and lasting peace. On October 1, 2022 Pope Francis made the following appeal to peace. Francis asked, how much blood still has to flow because we understand that war is never a solution, but only destruction. In the name of God and in the name of the sense of humanity that dwells in every heart, I renew my appeal for a ceasefire to be reached immediately. Let the weapons shut up and seek the conditions for starting negotiations capable of leading to solutions not imposed by force, but agreed, just, stable. And such will be if founded on respect for the sacrosanct value of human life, as well as for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of each country, as well as for the rights of minorities and legitimate concerns. I deeply regret, added the Pope, the serious situation that has arisen in recent days, with further actions contrary to the principles of international law. In fact, it increases the risk of a nuclear escalation, to the point of causing fear of uncontrollable and catastrophic consequences worldwide. Thank you for supporting my channel. 
May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.